In this episode, we take a look at one example of the type of lighting you can achieve with one of the least expensive yet most effective lighting tools, reflectors. Check this out. We haven't talked about lighting for a while, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's talk about one of the probably least expensive and very, very effective tools that you can use for lighting, both video and still photography, and that is a reflector. Now, in this particular case, these photos I'm gonna show you were actually from a still photo shoot, but this worked uh, just as well for a video shoot that I did in the exact same location fairly recently. So let me just show you some of the still photos. Now, what I was doing here were executive headshots. We went into a room at the company's location. Um, I had the executives there for just a few minutes, so I didn't have a lot of time to work. Um, had to get set up quickly, and I brought some lighting. So I had a softbox, and then I also had a reflector. And so I had sort of pre-planned two different types of shots. Number one, with a window off to the side and just almost out of frame to the camera left, and that would that would sort of act as a kicker light and bring some light in on kind of wrap around the back side of the executive and then on the camera right side I would use my softbox to illuminate that side of their face. What I also did is use a reflector to reflect some of the light that was coming into that window onto the wall behind the executive as you see in this shot here. Now I, I didn't have time to take behind the scenes shots but let me show you a lighting diagram here just so you can see how things were set up and um, this is just, a, just to give you some ideas of things you can do here. I actually preferred this second shot that I'm going to show you here where I actually just used all natural light and reflector, no softbox whatsoever. So what I had here was the executive in this one corner of the room where light was coming in to camera left um, and it was also illuminating the wall behind them quite nicely and they had there was kind of a pillar in their office there and so they're kind of up against that pillar or, or near it. And I used the reflector on the opposite side of the executive, that is camera right, to bring some light back into the executive's face and fill in the unlit side or the side that wasn't being illuminated by the window. So on this particular case, I actually used the silver part of the reflector. And I just had um, another person that were, was help, helping me out to hold the reflector in place. You could also use a stand. I do have this impact uh, stand that's actually made for holding reflectors, which is pretty handy indoors. It's not as useful outdoors because once, uh, you know, these, these things act like sails, these reflectors. And when you're using them outdoors, if there's a little bit of breeze, you can knock those reflector stands over pretty easily unless you're using a heavy duty C stand and really weight it down. But you have a number of options there. It's a pretty affordable way to do it. I'm pretty happy with the results of just bringing the light in through that one window to illuminate one side of the executive, reflect some of the light back with the silver side of the reflector back into the other side of their face. And it gives a nice, very smooth, very soft kind of look. This would work great for talking headshots for video. It works also pretty well for executive headshots like we did here. So I think the key really here is find a window where you have indirect light coming in. You do not want direct light because if you have direct light, it's gonna be really, really high contrast and you're probably gonna get some blown out highlights. But if you can find a window with indirect light coming in from the outside, and then use a reflector to reflect light back up into the other side of your talent, you can get a really pretty good look, and it's really probably the, one of the least expensive ways to get what I would consider a fairly finished, fairly polished looking set of lighting for your video or still photos. Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. We've got links for each of the items down below both through B&H and through Amazon. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. We'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.